So the problem becomes that if I put uh, the coefficient of x squared to be something other than 1, so for example a 2 in front of the x squared, can I still complete the square? Now the answer is yes. You can still write it in completed square form. But what we've got to do first, and this is always going to be the first step, is that we factor out the 2 from, my choice, the first two terms. Now, some people will factor the 2 out of all three terms, but I only factor the 2 out of the first two terms. Okay, It's mainly um, uh, damage limitation to make sure that I don't have to deal with too many fractions. Okay, So whatever that number is, be it 3, minus 4, 100, whatever, I will factor that number out of the first two terms. So I will write this as two lots of x squared plus 4x. Okay, That is the same as that. And then we've got this plus 3 sticking on the end. Okay, So that is my first step. Now the next step that goes with it is to complete the square on what is inside that bracket. So now we've got the 2 and then open bracket and I complete the square on what's inside. So I would have x plus 2 because that's half the 4 squared and I always take away that number squared so that's take away 4 close the bracket, and I've still got this plus 3 on the outside. So it's looking kind of completed square form now, but I still need to simplify it a little bit more because I've got a bracket within a bracket. I don't particularly like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the 2 by the x plus 2 squared and by the minus 4. I'm effectively going to expand the bracket but I'm expanding that red bracket, not the green one. So we're going to have two lots of the x plus 2 squared, and I've got two lots of the minus 4, so minus 8, and I've got that plus 3 on the end. So I can now simplify that to two lots of x plus 2 squared, take away 5. OK? So that... Uh, is conceptually what I am doing here. Now, if I was going to uh, show you this um, as a diagram, as I did uh, with the first completing the square video, if I was looking at this, the idea would be that I would have uh, 2x squared. So I'd have to have a rectangle that is of length 2x and depth x, okay, or width x. And then I've got 8x, so it must have um, length 8, whatever that is, and width x, okay. And then I've got this square on the end. Uh, we don't know what its dimensions are, but I can represent it as a square. That's 3. OK? Now, I can't uh, form a square out of these pieces um, because, you know, if I, if I do a similar trick to what I did previously, uh, of splitting that down the middle and then putting one bit there and one bit there. I'm not going to form a square. I'm going to form a rectangle. It's because this is twice the size. So the idea would be that I would halve that and halve that. OK. So it would be like factoring two out of the bracket, like I'm doing there, so that I'm just focusing on this piece and this piece. So I've got now an x, 
by x and I've got this single piece here which is length 4 and width x okay now I could cut that in half so that I had a piece there which is x wide but only too long and another piece there which is the same size as that one which is too long and x deep okay so don't really need to have that one there do we okay and to complete the square I've got this 2 times 2 so this 4 okay that's the bit that I am missing so this is the bit that I'm missing here now remember I've only taken half of the pieces so actually I've got two lots of this I've got two lots of this 4 that is missing so two lots of the minus 4 so I've got this x plus 2 squared that I've got here okay but remember it's all doubled but I've got this 4 bit that is missing so I'm gonna have to take away two lots of that, so minus eight, and I've got this plus three on the end that's uh, sticking out like a sore thumb. So then this is the two lots of x plus two squared minus five. So exactly the same thing that I've got there. So conceptually you can look at this uh, in diagram form like we did before. It gets a bit more messy, okay? but it's going through the same steps that we've gone through here.